hiding out from the swine flu. I got it last week. I don't want to get it again. So I want to make this real quick, okay? I don't want it to hear me. I'm uh, going to do a few things this week for video announcements for the action news. I'm uh, going to do different orders. So first, we're going to go to a jump start, okay? Okay. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on a head, running down on a beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down upon the collars of his robe. Now, that psalm is pretty short. It's only three verses long, but it's packed with stuff. So let me unpack a little bit of that, back, that background for you. In verse 2, where David's talking about precious oil poured on the head, that's part of an anointing ceremony. And he's talking about Aaron, one of the first priests, in fact, the first priest, brother of Moses. During his ceremony, he was anointed and just had this oil, rich, very, very uh, great smelling oil just poured on him so much that it didn't just drip on his head, it poured and it dripped off his beard onto the collars of his robe. This is the idea behind it that in our time together, how good and pleasant is it when brothers live together in unity? It's like this. It's like the oil anointing Aaron. It's like that rich aroma covering us that we can't escape. You know, we don't just dive in and get our toes wet. We dive in head first and get everything wet. We're covered and drenched in this friendship. Anytime you're gathering with brothers and sisters in Christ, Look at it as this, not just, uh, oh, I have to do this. Look at it as one of these opportunities. Use that to jumpstart your week. That was kind of comforting and reassuring. Maybe I'll... No, no. It's still too risky. It could still be out there. Okay, next. We have a texting challenge for you. So watch this. I recorded it earlier, so there's no chance of me catching it. <laughs> oh, sick. Uh, this month, the prize is pretty cool. It's Red's Innocence and Instinct. It's a dual disc set. The Prophet Hosea, talked about it a couple weeks ago in our uh, reflection interview. All you gotta do to win this is to be the first to text me after 9 p.m. on Wednesday. What was Hosea's daughter's name? Uh, remember, she had a really unique name. I need you to send me the Hebrew, which is what you will read in the text itself. Send me the Hebrew. It's in the book of Hosea. Pretty easy to find. Just use your table of contents. Be the first to text me after 9 p.m. starting Wednesday, November 11th. First one to text me the correct answer wins the disc. Whew, wish I was eligible for that. Okay, got your announcements. This month, there are two Friday night floods in November. The 13th and the 20th. On the 13th, if you're watching this before the 13th, uh, we're going to hear Paige Brigham, uh, Mary Brigham, Paige Brigham. She's on my page now. Uh, she's going to share her testimony with us. Uh, some story about how God has worked in her life, how he's collided with her. And uh, look for the 20th. By the way, you'll be able to find out. Oh, I'm going to have to go out. <laughs> Woo! Starting on the 13th, we have, I have official rules right here for the dodgeball tournament. Starting on the 13th and on the 20th as well, you'll be able to get information about the dodgeball tournament in December. So... Make sure you start looking for that, because there is a deadline for registration, but there are some pretty sweet prizes. Sorry, thought I heard a oink. Anyway, there are also two Wednesday Night Lives this month. Just two. Just two. Uh, there's a Hot Topic Night on the 11th, and a Real Talk on the 18th. The 11th will be more discussion for you guys where uh, I'll bring a couple of topics you guys have selected. <laughs> Ooh, I I've been collecting these guys from you guys. We'll, we'll look at a couple of those and give you guys lots of discussion time to talk about them. 
and on the 18th be a, a real talk evening where you guys can ask any questions you want. The 25th is the church-wide Thanksgiving Eve service. So don't come for Wednesday Live. Come for a Thanksgiving Eve service. Ooh. No pig. No pig. Okay. Anyway. Also, journey groups are meeting all month, so don't forget that. <laughs> it's gonna get me. Uh, see me if you need more details. Uh, if you want to join one, we'd love to have you. Uh, but just ask me for details. And finally, uh, Turkey Bowl. Coming up. It's going to be our new annual tradition. Two days after Thanksgiving. Uh, not Black Friday, so you guys can go shopping on Black Friday. But on Saturday the 28th, we're going to do some flag football out in the grass. Uh, who knows, it might disintegrate into tackle football. I don't know. But we're going to do some flag football, have some hot cocoa, maybe even watch a movie. Just a fun day to work off all those extra pounds from Thanksgiving. <laughs> so don't forget that date mark on your calendar. That's all I have. I don't want to catch you again. It's going to get... <laughs>